And now, your weather authority. Welcome back, everyone. Okay, Trey, like I mentioned earlier, a summer day here in South Mississippi. <laughs> that goes without saying. We are tracking some summer showers yeah, though this summer evening. Summer showers definitely grand. That's what we're hoping for later this evening because the line of storms that's to our west is actually a little bit stronger than that. Uh, actually a decent bit stronger. Seeing some severe storms to our west actually provoking two tornado warnings just off towards the west and just towards the left side of your screen here. Just off of your screen, those two tornado warnings, one in actually southwestern Mississippi, barely, and then the other in south central Louisiana. But both of those embedded in a line which is heading towards southern Mississippi, and this line was predicted to weak weaken as it arrives here in southern Mississippi. Now, will it weaken below the limits of thunderstorms in general all the way down to just straight up rainfall? I don't think it will completely do that, but it should at least weaken some more as we move along into the next hour to two hours. As we go into the month of June, the Gulf of Mexico and Atlantic seaboard do see the opportunity for multiple tropical systems of the name variety to pass through those locations and take a look at the yellow shade here. Notice how the possibility of tropical storms to pass through any of these locations is generally uh, evened out there. And the reason for that is because it all depends on several factors over into the tropical season in terms of our severe development and also our tropical development in terms of named systems. One of those particular factors is Saharan dust. Notice where this particular Saharan dust is located. We often see this analyzed as we go into the early parts of hurricane season because this disrupts the natural flow and progression as well as the creation and building of hurricanes as we move into the tropical season. The reason for that, there's a big difference in hurricanes and what they need to survive in terms of winds and severe systems here on land. As for the system out to our west right now on land, you need that strong wind shear pushing that in the upper and mid levels. But hurricanes, you have that strong wind shear and it'll rip a hurricane apart. Won't get too deep, uh, deep into that at the moment because we do have a little bit of weather here to get to. But humidity values across Mississippi Gulf Coast definitely still there, definitely still warm and humid. Temperature values in the mid to upper 80s, especially in areas like Wiggins where you're sitting at 88. But continuing onward through the rest of the evening, that heat index still going to feel quite warm out there, still feeling above. Uh, 90 degrees into this afternoon and still feeling warm at this particular moment and into this evening as well. What we're continuing to look at is the potential for those showers and thunderstorms to arrive here in southern Mississippi. We're still working on our analysis mode on the actual links one. So I believe Grant in just a few moments when you uh, see me again for the next weather hit, I'll actually pull up the analysis mode. and We'll break into in depth what those storms are going to do most likely as they arrive here because they don't appear to be as weak as expected. Good. Well, we'll, we'll look forward to that. Of course, Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you in just a couple of minutes and we'll have more news after the break. Stay with us, South Mississippi.